Now we're on to graphing proportional relationships, multiplicative relationships. So now they're going to be giving us a slope and an ordered pair or a point to help us plot our line. Again, this is for multiplicative relationships the, when we have y equals mx, y equals mx form. So to graph a line, when we have our slope and our ordered pair, we've got two steps. Oh, I guess three, because we got to connect the dots. First, we want to plot the ordered pair, the point. Again, your ordered pair is in the form x comma y, where x is left to right how we move, y is up and down how we move. So in our first example, we've got the point negative two, negative one. So that means I need to go to the left two because it's negative, and I need to go down one because it's negative. We always start at our origin. The origin is our starting point. So to the left two, down one, gives us our first point right there. That gives us our first point right there. Then, then we need to use our slope. We need to use our slope to help us find our next point. So we remember that slope is equal to the rise over the run. The rise over the run. So here, if our slope is 1 half, that means our rise is 1. We need to go up 1. That means our run is 2. We need to go to the right 2. So from this point here, from this point here, we're going to rise, we're going to go up 1, and we're going to run two spaces over. And that puts us right back at our origin, right where we started. It just so happened to work out that way. It will not always. It will not always. So we've got our two dots. We did our, our point. We did our slope. Now we connect the dots. Again, it just so happened to work out for this one, and it looks like it will for these. But sometimes they might give you a point that's way far off that you can't just go right back through. All right, again, same thing. First off, I want to put my ordered pair there, my point. Here my ordered pair is negative 1, 1. Negative 1, 1. So that means I need to go to the left or to the right first. I need to go to the left because it's a negative one. And then I'm going to move how? Then I'm going to go down one because it's negative. We're just kind of working backwards here to the left one space and then down one space like we're driving a car. We can't drive through a block. We have to go up and over and down. So there's my first spot. And then it tells me my slope is 1. Again, slope is equal to the rise over the run. How do I make a number a fraction if it's not a fraction? To make any number a fraction, I just put that number up top, and I give its denominator 1. Because 1 divided by 1 gives me that 1 I need for my slope. So again, like I said, it's going to work for this time. From here, I'm going to go up one, run, ride one, and run one for my second point. And again, we just so happen to end up, we just so happen to end up at the origin again. Go ahead, try this next one on your own. Your point is negative one, negative three. Your slope is three. Turn that into a rise over run to help you as you do example C all on your own. So you should get your point negative one, negative three there. Your slope, your rise over run, turning any number into a fraction by putting it over top of one. Three divided by one gives me that three that I need for my slope. So from that point, I rise three, run one, and then I get my line. 
So there's the first way to do it. If they give you your slope and they give you a point. For my next type of graphing, they're going to give me just the equation. That's it. Just the equation. That's it. Because our graph is in the form y equals mx, that means it is proportional. We talked about how proportional graphs always go through the origin. All proportional relationships contain, have the origin in them. That's why we ended up back at the origin every single time. So that's why the first thing they're going to have us do is start at the origin. Our first point is going to be 0, 0. Again, this is only working with proportional relationships when it's y equals mx. Proportional relationships that go through the origin are always going to start with something at the origin. So there's our first point. Next, we're going to look at our slope to figure out how we're going to move. What is the slope in y equals 2x? Here, my slope is 2. My slope is 2. Again, our slope is rise over run. Rise over run. So how am I going to move from this point if my slope is 2? Like we talked about up here, to make a number a fraction, we're going to put it over 1. So to make 2 a fraction, I'm going to take my 2 up top and put it over 1. So from my origin, I'm going to rise 2 spots, and then I'm going to run 1. Now I've got my two points. Now I can make my line. That's all we got to do. We just need to find two points to make a line. Next, we have y equals 3 fourths. It's a multiplicative relationship, so I know I've got my origin to start. And I need to take a look at my slope, my 3 fourths. Again, slope is rise over run. My slope is 3 fourths. It's already in a fraction for me. So I know I need to rise. I need to go up 3. And then I need to run 4. And I put my dot. It doesn't matter if, um, if you start there and go that way, or if I go backwards, or if I keep going. Because if I do the opposite, if I do my run of four and then I go down three and I make a point there that slope is constant that slope works for any point I can keep extending this graph forever and ever and ever and if I keep going up three and over four up three over four up three over four I'll still be on this line if I come back to D and if I go up to over one, I'm still on the line. Because again, I can keep going over and over and over and I'll still be on that line. Here, it was three over one. If I still go up three, and if I run one, I'm still on that line. If I go up one over one, I'm still on this line. Up one over one, I'm still on this line. Up one over one, I'm still on this line. That pattern of your slope will continue on throughout the whole line. Throughout the whole line, doesn't matter if you go backwards or forwards, that same pattern is going to continue. And that's what's cool about proportional relationships. We've got one last graph. You see here that your slope is 1 half. It's multiplicative, so it goes to the origin. Pause the video. Try this one on your own. I rise 1, run 2. I showed it a few more times just so you can see all these points are on the graph. If I keep up this pattern of um, up one over two, or up one over two, up one over two, up one over two, it keeps going the whole length of the line. And again, that's what's cool about proportional relationships. Now that we've talked about additive and proportional, additive and multiplicative notes, go ahead and take a look at that piece of paper to get in some practice with this.
check in with us first. Let us know how you're doing. Ask us any questions before you get started. Good luck.